हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम वंस अगेन टू अनदर पावर बीआई रिलेटेड ट्यूटोरियल बाय स्लाइड स्कोप एंड हेयर वी आर सीइंग अ पावर बीआई रिपोर्ट सर्वर दैट इज रनिंग ऑन आर लोकल होस्ट सो इफ यू विल सिंपली टाइप लोकल होस्ट एंड ओपन दिस सो दिस विल ओपन ओके सो इन आर कंप्यूटर वी आर रनिंग पावर बीआई रिपोर्ट सर्वर so in this tutorial we will learn what is power bi report server how to download and set up in your computer so let's get it started so first thing is the power bi report server is the on premises solution for reporting today with the flexibility to move to the cloud tomorrow as per their description so that means you can install it on your computer on your local computer and use it for reporting and it has the flexibility to move to the cloud also and it is included with power bi premium but here we are going to download the power bi report server free trial to try it and show you know the report server that you were that we were running that i showed you just a few minutes ago so what you have to do you have to go to this url i will provide this url in description and from here you have to click on advanced download options after selecting the advanced download options you will see microsoft power bi report server and in our case obviously we are trying it in december 2024 but it is showing the latest version as september 2024 and power bi report server available as part of our by premium enables on premises web and mobile viewing of power bi reports so whatever reports you will create in your power bi so you can push these reports to this server and you can view it on your web and mobile devices okay from here select your language choice and click download after downloading in your browser you will see a simple pop up which will give you different versions so as per your computer's configuration you can select any of these files i have selected power bi report server file which we want okay so by selecting this just download this once you will download this the download will appear in your you know downloads of your browser and here you just have to click the executable file after clicking the executable file there will be an option to install power bi report server here we have selected a free edition there is also a developer edition but since we want to try this we are selecting the evaluation which will expire in 180 days so if you are a new learner or if you are you know trying this for first time so try to use it as much as you can in your 180 days and then probably you can go to the premium solution if you have a product key that you have got from power bi premium service so you can enter that product key also but here our tutorial will be strictly related to the evaluation copy click next then here power bi report server terms and conditions will uh, come read these terms and conditions carefully read the software license terms carefully and if you agree click i accept and click next when you will click next you will see microsoft power bi report server and it will install the database engine so you will need an instance of sql server database engine to store the report server database and here you have to select install power bi report server only okay now here is the tricky part first it will start installing so click here next we will come to this particular requirement just in a bit so this will be your installation location so you can select any other installation location also as per your computer's configuration we have selected everything default and click install this will this may ask you for user account control you know uh, pop up do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device 
if you are sure just click ok because it's from microsoft corporation so click yes it will start downloading microsoft power bi report server and installing the package with access database engine and everything and here microsoft power bi report server will be installed and now comes the most important part that is setup of it so once you will click configure report server so it will create or it will ask you for a permission to open the report server configuration tool you know that whenever you are setting up a server a report server in this case so server configuration will be needed like on what uh, domain you will run it on what port you will run it to which database engine will this reports be saved and so on so just click yes and then comes the report server configuration manager here you will see your server name which is by default the desktop name or laptop name so here you will see your computer's uh, server name and here you simply have to click connect when you will click connect you will see that it the report server configuration manager will be connected to this particular service okay and when you will connect you will see the product version the addition of the product and its instance id which is pbi rs power bi report server instance okay make sure that it is started now before doing all of this okay we have to consider some prerequisites and based on whether you have this already or not your installation time will increase or decrease okay so first what you need to have i have made it very simple sql server express installed and sql server management studio installed to create or administer sql server databases so sql server management studio which is popularly known as ssms also so this is obviously as the name suggests this allows us to connect with sql server databases so if you are running on a local host you have a sql express instance okay this is your server so once your server you in order to connect with your server you have to use some kind of authentication okay this server can be on a ip address also it can be a web server also so we have using server type database engine so we have sql server database engine server type and a server name already configured okay i will share another video where i have explained how to install sql server express and how to install sql server management studio in a link to this video okay if you have all of this you can skip uh, you know two or three minutes ahead if you don't have then you have to understand this so here when you will connect you will see that you will be connected to your server instance and in your server instance you will have various databases okay here you can see our report server which we have named as slide is group report server this database is also present so you you will understand how to create this and these are normal databases for our application this is a hospital database that is this is a doctor prescription system database if you will simply open a hospital database you will see some tables like doctor opd booking patient this has nothing to do with power bi at this moment but i am just showing you that in the same object explorer in the same server where our application databases are hosted in that same uh, sql server instance our report server databases will also be created if you will simply google sql server express download 
so first you have to install and configure sql server express so very quickly if you are downloading sql server 2019 edition 2019 express edition first select the basic installation read the sql server express terms and conditions if you accept them you will see the location where your sql server express is being installed okay let me zoom it little bit yeah and then once sql server express is installed you will see the name of your sql server instance okay so whatever is your computer name or your server name and backslash this with the help of this you will be able to connect with sql express then if you want additionally to create databases you know you can install microsoft sql server management studio so the installation is very simple and i will also provide a link to video as i said so that you can install this so you can install these two uh, different softwares and i have given links to both of them i will provide links in the description of the video so that you don't have to you know find it anywhere else otherwise you can simply google it so now what we have done so far we have installed sql server express edition we have installed sql server management studio optional to create and administer the databases of sql server and we have downloaded and installed microsoft power bi report server okay now once you have done all of this so you will be able to see your configuration manager like this like i am see okay in your configuration manager you have your web service url in your web service url you will be able to see the port on which your web service will run the virtual directory where your report server will be hosted okay and whether http certificate is there or not so you can leave all of these behind uh, as it is and you will see your urls in your databases you will see an option to change or create a database okay and in your credentials you will be able to see your credential settings so what happens is suppose let me close ssms for you so when i am opening ssms the sql server management studio you can see the instance name of your sql server express and the host url the same host is there here also the same host okay you can write local host also so the same host is there but the difference is here you are connecting to sql server management studio and there you are connecting to power bi report okay so now let's see what we have to do here so after installing once you have open your sorry i did it from beginning sorry yeah once you have connected your server name and everything then you will see something like this as i showed you then you have to go to web service url where your web service url is something that you can note down okay remember if you are running any other service on the port 80 at this moment then you can change port 82 80 80 88 whatever you want okay so make sure for example if you are running visual studio if you are running anything like zamp apache server iis anything so this may be this may not work so make sure none other application is using tcp port 80 once you have done all of this i tried with 8088 also so you can change to 8088 and then run so make sure that that port is free after creating that you have to click on change database okay so first you have to go to service account then web service url and database so in database you have to connect 
or change database here i explained you the prerequisites now here you will see two options create a new report server database or choose an existing report server database so we will create a new server database when you will uh, select that you have to enter your server name so when you install the sql server express you got the server name okay and with this you just have to enter the server name and test connection is if everything is okay you will be able to see the test connection succeeded okay and now you will be able to see the databases also of your server okay when you are selecting create new database so let me show you instead of showing you so let's say change database create a new server let's connect with it let's name the report server as ct report server it can be anything ct report server report server mode will be native and click next here you have to choose the authentic patient type as service credentials click next then you will see an simple report you know details of your server and click next it will open something like this and applying connection string setting dsn and all okay and now progress will be finished so now you will see that you now you are connected with your database ct report server okay and credential as nt service power bi report server and when you will go to web url you can click here and this will open your power bi report server and from here you can start creating the other stuff so now your power bi report server is ready you will be able to see power bi report kpi you will be able to see these different things okay now in next part of power bi report server series on our channel we will discuss about using power bi report server using power bi to publish reports to power bi report server and browsing it in different devices also okay like this particular report because we have set up in local host so it will be available on our other computers also so we will see all of that in the next chapter if you have liked this tutorial then please subscribe to our channel so that you can receive more basic and advanced power bi related tutorials thanks for watching have a nice day